Okay, perpendicular lines. First off, what are perpendicular lines? Well, perpendicular lines are two um, vertical lines that have what they call negative reciprocals of each other. Meaning this, if I take my first slope right there, the negative reciprocal means I put it one over the, well, will equal the same thing. If I just put the one over that, it's a negative reciprocal. In other words, if that was four, this one has to be negative one fourth in order for it to work. To be a perpendicular slope, the reciprocals have to be, and it would look something like that. And if you have a great, particularly really square one, it'll make a 90 degree angle right there. But like I said, the viewing windows sometimes make this difficult for it to look at to be an exact type of a match, okay? So, let's take the same equation we had a while ago. Two negative one, find a line perpendicular to it. Well, the first thing I still gotta do is what? Find the slope, but you gotta have a point and a slope. I have a point, but not a slope. And like I said, we did the work on a previous problem. Basically, to find the slope, move the two over, which makes it a negative two x. Then you have to divide by this negative three, which will give you this here. So my slope is two thirds, but I need it to be a negative reciprocal. So if the slope is two thirds, turn it upside down and make it negative. So two over three, I turned it upside down and made it negative. That's my slope for the second point. Now I can go plug it in right here. Notice two thirds is the same thing as negative one over negative three over two. Because when you divide fractions, you multiply by the reciprocal, which would make it a positive two thirds. So those reciprocals do work, all right? So I'm gonna plug in, now I'm gonna plug in this M because I want the perpendicular line to that equation. And I'm gonna use that negative one right there and that X one right there, all right? Plugging those in. So y minus this negative one, the same as y plus one. And this time I'm gonna take negative three halves times x, and negative three halves times a negative two, the twos will cancel. Negatives cancel, giving me a plus three. Go ahead and minus that one. So the perpendicular line would be y equals negative three halves x plus two. That would be our graph right there. Oh, so to find the parallel slope, use the two thirds. To find the perpendicular one, use the negative reciprocal, flip it, and make it negative. All right, oh, that sounds pretty cool.